Hi guys, this is uh, hour 216 of PAX South, and I'm here with Katrina from um, Obsidian, and we're introducing Pillars of Eternity 2, Deadfire. Hi Katrina. Hey, how are you? I'm well, how are you? Pretty good. Um, Katrina, if you were to tell our audience what Pillars of Eternity 2 uh, compares to, what could you compare it to? So, it's very similar to it's, it's kind of inspired by the old Baldur's Gate games, and also we've been very inspired by Dungeons & Dragons, and yet it has its own unique world that we've created and our narrative team has created that's completely different from any other game. You mentioned uh, the narrative, that it has a heavy emphasis on, on the narrative. Um, how would you say have the writers accomplished that? So our writers do a ton of research. Um, our design director, Josh Sawyer, has created the entire world of Pillars of Eternity. And then our, our writers will research different cultures um, in the real world and kind of go off of that and take little bits and pieces from different cultures and combine that and then add it to a new culture. Uh, so you'll get little kind of little bits of lore from, say, Old English or Welsh folklore. Yeah, nice, that's amazing. Um, the multiplayer aspect of this game, would you say there's an emphasis on that? There's, well, there's no multiplayer. Yeah, it's just it's a multiplayer. single player game, okay. yeah. That's fine. Um, um, when you launched uh, the crowdfunding for this game, what was the experience with that? Uh, did that go well? Did it reach its target fast? Could you tell us about that? Yeah, so we actually funded the game. Uh, we had a $1.1 million goal, and we wow. hit that within 24 hours. Wow. And so it was really exciting. We crowdfunded the first Pillars of Eternity as well on Kickstarter, and that was very successful. And we needed the funding um, from fans again for the second game. And we decided to do it on FIG this time for the crowdfunding. And we ended up with $4.4 million and a ton of backers. and. Everybody is so excited about the game, and it means a lot to us to have all of these supporters. You guys are loaded. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> So the fans for the first Pillars of Eternity, they actually saved Obsidian. Um, and because we were in a rough spot at the time, and because we got funding for that game, we were able to keep going. And so that means a lot to us, and our fans are very important to us. That's great. Um, so the fans who, um, you told me before, the fans who contributed a certain amount were able to um, help you guys in developing the game and giving you feedback. Uh, what was the main feedback that you worked on or, or still are working on? Um, so the main feedback we've been working on is the pace of combat. Um, some people have felt that it's too fast or too slow in certain sections and so say we'll slow down recovery time or increase recovery time of a certain weapon or we'll increase uh, movement speed of a certain weapon so it feels like combat flows more smoothly. But we'll listen to feedback from the forums, um, from our website, from a lot of other places, um, even on our Discord channel as well. And um, we'll listen to them and then we will address it and hopefully make the experience better and it'll result in happier fans. Nice, that's the key to community engagement. Um, when are you planning to launch? So we are planning to launch in spring of 2018. We don't have a set date yet, but we're working on it. So, spring. We definitely wish you the best for that, and thank you for the interview. Thank you.